In the 1950s, seeing the USA and your Chevrolet was just one way that you could take part in fulfilling the American dream that so many people were pursuing during that decade. As World War II came to a close, Americans were coming home from the war. Just like after World War I in the 1920s, once again Americans believed that you know, they had sacrificed, it was time to enjoy the good life. Now, the Americans that were going to be enjoying the good life of the 1950s were a different lot than before. These people had grown up during the Great Depression. And they had lived through the Second World War. And now these young men and these women returning home from war, from the factories, from the sacrifices that they had made to make the world safe for democracy once again, they are now ready to fulfill the American dream, to give their kids a better life than they had had growing up. And so people pursue the American dream. They look to move to the suburbs, have a nice little home of their own, the Leave it to Beaver sort of uh, 1950s sitcom image is what people are really shooting for, this nice little family in the suburbs. Uh, new inventions, new possessions make uh, life once again easier. Televisions, not quite as nice as the ones we have nowadays, but new black and white televisions, new appliances, automobiles, the interstate highways which President Eisenhower is going to build to allow uh, people to travel and go on family vacations. These things all help make the American life a little bit better. Uh, at the same time though, there's problems people are dealing with during the 1950s. Once again, now that this war is over with, there's a Red Scare, and this one much more serious. The Soviet Union is now a powerful nation. Our ally during World War II, very quickly after World War II ends, things begin to break down between the Soviet Union and the United States. We've used the atomic bomb on Japan. They know what type of power we have. We know they have the most uh, powerful, biggest army that we could possibly have to oppose and so we're concerned that communism is going to spread and during the 1950s there's going to be a fear of communism um, you'll be watching in this unit the duck and cover video which will just give you an idea of how scary things were and so as you study the 1950s you're looking at an America that is pursuing the American dream but at the same time is facing some obstacles and some dangers that are totally unprecedented in world history. And then as you're going to see in the next unit, not everybody in America is enjoying that American dream as you later will be looking at the civil rights movement. But as you study this unit, look at what Americans are trying to build, what our leaders are trying to accomplish, and the challenges that they're facing.